Today's Friday, February 15th. I'm Bijoli, and we're back with another episode of Cal TV Sports Shorts. In basketball, the women's team traveled up north this past weekend for a road trip. They defeated Oregon State 56-45 and defeated Oregon 53-34, moving up to the ninth spot in the nation and holding on to their number one spot in the Pac-10. Back at home, the men's team, however, was not quite as lucky. Though they defeated Oregon State 81-76, the men fell to the Ducks, as Carolina Gower reported earlier this week. Switching gears a little, in women's water polo, our number five team played number four Hawaii last Thursday, as we reported on last week when we interviewed player Molly Hayes. The Bears were not able to secure a victory, and they lost 7-6 in a heartbreaker of a game. However, they rallied back when they traveled to the, San to the Stanford Invitational this past weekend. They defeated San Jose State, but fell to the Cardinal, taking number five overall in the Invitational. But let's head on over to Jessica, who was out on Sproul earlier today, asking some Bear fans a few questions. Jessica? Hey, B. Jolie, I'm out here on Sprawl, and I was just wondering, in a one-on-one -on -one game, what's more important, sex or height? Devin A. Hampton versus Joan Randall, 6'3 versus 5'8. Who would win? Let's go ask. The girl, <laughs> definitely. She's she's skillful. She's taller. Uh, Jerome Randall, because I've seen him play basketball. I don't know anything about Devin Hampton. I would go with uh, the star, Devin A. Hampton. Man, I think Jerome would take the cake. You know, he's too quick. You know, he's got the speed. Do the crossover, underhand. I think she can. She can. She couldn't take him. Wouldn't happen. Wouldn't go down. What do you think? Well, considering that the women's team is 21 and three, and the men do not look like they have a shot to make the tournament this year, I'm gonna have to go with my girl Devin A. But before they fire me for picking sides, let's get back to some recaps. Men's tennis, which lost to UCLA two weeks ago, was able to come back with a 5-2 victory over Utah. Though they couldn't secure the doubles points, they won five out of their six singles matches for an easy victory. They have a bye week coming up, but we'll be taking on Stanford towards the end of the month, so stay tuned for that. And before we wrap things up, let's check out this week's player to watch, Elise Kennedy of the Cal women's lacrosse team. The sophomore midfield was essential to the team last year as she not only set a Cal record seven points in one game against Colgate, but also scored the game-winning goal in the finals against Davis. As a starter from last year, Kennedy will be essential as the ladies open their season this Sunday against NCAA champ Northwestern at Memorial Stadium. And make sure you check in on Monday because Dan Fiedler will be covering that game, so the sports highlight will be up. But that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to keep tuning in to Cal TV, your download for What's Up in Cal Sports.